because I'm obsessed about camps. Oh yeah. Here we go, two mallet flying. Oh, I love to see people shredding on keyboard instruments. It's like the best thing ever. Is that a pair of scissors? He's playing a pair of scissors. I would love for you to watch it and check it out. I'm a little cringe in the beginning. What did the spaghetti say to the ravioli? What did I say? I said I gotta move pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing cringe about that. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of The Studio. My name is Adam, and it's time for yet another Let's Watch. Thank you so much to my studio VIPs, Robert Utomo, Will Flinner, Ryan Carlisle, Sung Shun Han, Greg Harris, Doms Dominic Chung, Dean P. Newberger, Scott Raider, and Marimba Maurice. Thank you so much for your continued support. And today's featured studio artist is Ryan Burke. Thank you so much for your continued support. And if you'd like to become a studio VIP or a studio artist, you can go to patreon.com forward slash adamtan, or you can click over here. Welcome back to the show once again. I hope you've been well. And yes, today we're going to have some fun with yet another Let's watch. And yes, as promised, today's episode is going to be a DCI focused episode because I'm obsessed about camps. We're going to watch two head cams that were submitted by you guys to the show today. And of course, if you ever want to submit anything, anything to the Let's Watch segment, it's at adamcampercussion.com forward slash submit. Now, before we continue, of course, if you want to get any of the new 2020 merch, it's at adamcampercussion.com forward slash merch. And yes, this is another one of the pieces, which is the Marim Beast t-shirt you guys might remember Marim Beast I started it like three years ago and well this is the 2020 version but speaking of Marim Beast today we're going to watch some Marim Beasts in action with some crazy DCI world-class keyboard head cams and I just love this genre of let's watch videos because I love to see people shredding on keyboard instruments it's like the best thing ever so the first submission is from Isaac and it's the Blue Knights 2019 Marimba cam and he says, this is my personal favorite drum core. They're very abstract in show design, taking very classical pieces and forming concepts around them. And I think you would have a lot of fun watching the marimba part for this. Well, Isaac, I'll definitely take your word for it. I do love watching transcriptions and I also love head cams. So this is gonna be exciting. Let's watch. Okay, so looking at this video, it's called Blue Knights 2019 Marimba Cam. Davin Tai. So Davin Tai is probably the person that's in the video. It doesn't look like a performance. This looks like a rehearsal because it's on a field and there's not many people in the audience and the marimbas are covered. Well, in any case, I'm really keen to watch it. So let's go. All right, cover comes off. Blue Knights. Yeah, even the covers are blue. <laughs> this is a really nice looking marimba. It's, it's like rosewood. It's rare to see rosewood in front of ensemble and outdoors as well. I'm guessing it gets dried out like crazy in this weather. Right, here we go, one-handed roll. Man, this marimba sounds so dead. <laughs> Either because it's outside or it's just been out for too long. Hey, is he using traditional grip in his right hand? That's definitely Stevens in his left hand. The Marimba's bars are so dead. <laughs> so dead. All right, come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Very relaxed technique. Ah, oh, it's getting fast, let's go. Woo! Alright, here we go, two mallet runs coming. Welcome to DCI headcaps! <laughs> oh yeah, that accuracy, man. Nah, I thought he was gonna use that mallet on the on the mover for a second. <laughs> it scared me. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, even using a graduated set. Don't normally see a graduated set in in DCI. That was a funny run. Oh yeah. Oh, 
Wow, the lateral is so fast and tight. It's nice. He's playing very musically, you know, not trying to play overly loud because it's not his time to shine. Oh yeah, the runs are so effortless and smooth and nice. It's very refreshing. Maybe it's also because the marimba sounds good because it's Rosewood. <laughs> We've seen too many synthetic marimbas on this show. It still sounds like he's doing mostly accompaniment sort of parts. I haven't seen anything really soloistic yet, but it's good that he knows his place. He's not, he's not overdoing it. Oh yeah. These are really interesting parts. Oh yeah. Oh, he's got to have at least one kotal <laughs> in the front ensemble. It's a really nice sounding kotal. Oh yeah! Here we go, two mallet flying. Oh! Now he's back to accompaniment roll. Again, see, like he's controlling the dynamics really well. Not, not being too showy when he doesn't need to be. He's getting this really nice warm character out of these accompaniment parts. Whoa! A little bit of Ivan Trevino there. <laughs> oh yeah. I like his lifts. See, we talked so much about fake lifts in previous episodes and here, there's no such thing as a fake lift. Very tidy. Oh yep, all the scale runs. Oh yeah, oh, 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 oh! Okay. Nice. Whoa. Ah, oh, changing to all soft mallets. When do you ever see this in, in DZR? Yeah, that's cool. Man, he has to do so much. <laughs> bass drum beat is awesome. This is really interesting. I really like it. Back to the soft mallets. Is that a corral? Lateral corral. All right. All right. Trumpet solo. This is a different kind of brass flex. <laughs> it's a quiet brass flex. <laughs> I really like these soft mallet runs. It's really, really nice to not have to hear such bright tickiness all the time. Oh, but he's back to it. He's coming back to it. Oh no, it's just the crotal note. No, he is using the shaft on the mount on the marimba. Okay. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that personally. But <laughs> okay. All right. Yes, yeah, some more runs. Very nice how he just sort of glides in and out of them. Very impressive. Wow. Really just whips these two mallet runs like they're nothing. It's a nice B flat major scale. There's another one. <laughs> Oh, that corral rings for a long time. Back to the soft rolls. This one-handed roll is so high. Look, look how look how effortless his turns are. Get that sort of mallet height on a on a big lateral like that. It's not easy. They're very controlled. That's a bit, bit of Garnier there. <laughs> Whoever wrote this really likes to orchestrate <laughs> one-handed rolls. A lot, he's been doing a lot of this. He has another floor tom over here. Ah, oh, maybe it's the one from the left-hand side. <laughs> that was a kind of a random run. 
<laughs> well, this video is not sponsored by Minel, I promise. <laughs> he has to do a lot of work on the floor tom and stuff for a marimba part. Alright, now he's back. No? No, he's still on the floor tom. <laughs> is it a floor tom or a surdo? Actually, I think it's a surdo. Ah, oh, it must be a surdo. Okay. My bad, my bad. Yep, whip out the sex top woods. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! You go, Davin. The beast. And let's put the mouse back. And that's all, folks. Alright, well, that was a very different marimba cam. Like, I'm not used to seeing marimba cams that have so many melodic sections, like less of the showy runs and more of these really nice ripply roll sections. Yeah, I'm, I'm really surprised. <laughs> I love Davin's laterals very much. They're very relaxed, very chill, and it just makes the whole thing sound very mellow and very warm, which is honestly what marimba should sound like. I think sometimes people think of marimba too much as like a big xylophone. I really like the melodic parts more. Like, I think they're actually more impressive to me than those <laughs> sort of runs because we're going to see them a lot in these Let's Watch episodes, let's be honest. But now we're going to watch something which is a little bit more of what I'm used to, I think, based on what this is. It is the Cavaliers 2019 xylophone cam. And here we have Shelby Huffman, who is the person playing in the video, I believe. He says, thank you for taking the time to read this. I wanted to send this to you since it was my last time performing and playing keyboards. I probably won't touch mallets for a couple of years because of how my life is going. So this may be one of my last things I can remember my time as a musician. That's really, that's really sad. Don't worry, man. I reckon there's going to be another time for you to play mallets. I would love for you to watch it and check it out. I'm a little cringe in the beginning. <laughs> my dumb jokes. I mean, I'm pretty cringe myself. But the biggest highlight moment for me is that 6 minutes 30 where we play our pit feature. It was entirely singles. Right left, right left, right left, right left, right left. For me on xylophone. But the marimbas are splitting the ninelets and switching keyboards, which I thought was cool. Okay, well this video is called The Wrong Side of the Tracks. So that must be the name of the show. Shelby Huffman, yes, it is the person who sent this in. And the cam is actually mounted on the side of the instrument. You know, normally we watch head cams. It's because it's mounted to the head or to the chest or something. This is very different and I'm really excited to see it from this angle because we can still see the keyboard really close but maybe we're not going to get motion sick. <laughs> now Shelby is actually playing this in a live performance by the looks of it. This is the 2019 DCI World Championships so this is pretty much as serious as it gets and I'm really excited so let's watch. Is this thing on? Is this thing on? <laughs> the guy just said what I just said. <laughs> Hilarious. What did the spaghetti say to the ravioli? What did I say? I said I gotta move pasta. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ain't nothing cringe about that. Wow. This is intense. Well, starting off with four mallets already. Let's go. Look at that dancing. Woo! Oh man. This xylophone is not even graduated. It's all flat. Alright, hitting the cymbals. Yeah, let's go. Alright. Man, he's not even looking. He's not even looking at the instrument. He's not even looking. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's, that's awesome. Alright, we've got quartiles and xylophone chords. guy behind him, I'm guessing that's like a referee or something, but he's literally standing so close to the pit. I'm shook. That was a very quiet xylophone run. <laughs> right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Man, look at the visuals, everyone is so visual. The scale runs are coming. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh we got some fighting. Man, how do they remember all these steps? So many things to do.
Oh, so fast. Oh, yeah. Nah, I love this angle. It actually adds so much dynamism to this. Oh, he's putting a flag behind his leg. Don't trip him. <laughs> Man, it's crazy how such a big stadium can go so quiet like that. Got another brass flex in the background. Man, look at these marimba solos. The guy in the front's not even looking. He's not even looking. Man, these marimba parts sound incredible. I mean, no offense, Shelby, I love your part too, but... The marimba parts sound so cool. And this sounds like Keiko Abe meets Joe Hisashi. <laughs> This is a really great orchestration, once again, like, it's refreshing to see something that I'm not, that I'm not used to. Nice, good accompaniment parts. Cymbal roll. Every DCI on top of favourite thing, suspended cymbal rolls. <laughs> Whoa, the tempo though. Man, those river parts are crazy. All right, come on, Shelby, let's go. <laughs> That's a good tile freeze. Man, they have to do so much movement. I'm guessing they get assessed on all of these as well, which is crazy. If one person makes a mistake, it'll be so obvious. Oh, that mallet flip though. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> so even something simple like this pattern, it makes it so interesting with his arm movements and stuff. All right, let's go. They're so in sync. Look how in sync they are. Everyone just looks at each other. He keeps adjusting his glasses. <laughs> I know that feel, bro. Glasses life. Is that a pair of scissors? That is a pair of scissors. He's playing a pair of scissors. <laughs> I just watched someone play a pair of scissors. That's hilarious. Oh, now we've got a vibra slap wall. <laughs> There's a barrel behind you, man. Watch out. All right, is this the pit feature he was talking about? Oh! Oh yeah! Let's go! <laughs> now we're talking. Oh, the Brimbas are moving. Oh man. I think I saw an Instagram video of this. Wow! I think I saw an Instagram video of this switching thing. People were like, how does everyone rotate and play so in sync? It's just insane. That's crazy. I wish I could see it a little bit better. Man, what a strong pit section. DCI videos, I mean DCI performances really love their deep voice narration. <laughs> Oh, another one. Wow, that's six over four there. <laughs> that timpani, do 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 do, love that. Look how in sync they are, like even their upstroke and downstroke just all together. Look at that. I can't imagine what the atmosphere must be like when you're playing this.
a lot of screaming. <laughs> uh, and you got standing ovations. It's the brass flex, right? You got standing ovation. That must be good. Big brass flex. Big screaming from the front. Wow. Last bit. I love all this like fake fighting that they have to do. It's great. Man, this is an insane level of focus with these ones. Oh yeah. They really use the metal sounds really well as well in the orchestration. Oh! Oh man, this is crazy. Octaves on the xylophone, and oh yeah. Man, so many runs. Oh, what a feeling. What a feeling to finish like that. That is ridiculous. That is actually ridiculous. <laughs> Everything was so together in that, like everyone was playing so together. Everyone was really enjoying themselves. You could tell they were really pumped and really hyped to do all these movements and stuff. And like, I'd almost forgotten about the pasta joke. <laughs> but seriously, what a stunning performance. And I would have liked to see in like a camera of the entire pit section now because the marimba parts were also pretty crazy, especially that bit where they did their little feature and they changed instruments. That is just awesome. Oh, I wish I was young enough to do this kind of stuff, but alas, I am just old. I also love Shelby's fast runs, how he was literally just like looking up most of the time, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And he's like, cool, whatever. Here's the next one. And that's just like a real atmosphere that they create on that stadium. You know, like three quarters of the stadium audience is actually empty, right? Because everyone is sitting at the front and they just make it feel so intense. Like just this small group of performers on the stage. That is why I love these videos. It is just awesome. So once again, thank you to Isaac and Shelby for sending in today's videos. And of course the full videos are in the description below. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of today's videos or if you have any suggestions of other ones that I should watch. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it so much. Also, if you haven't already, please hit that red subscribe button below to keep up with my uploads and hit that notification bell so that you know whenever I upload stuff because I upload brand new content on this channel every single week, including reviews, including stuff like this, let's watch. And most importantly, it's just great to have you part of the greatest family in the world, the studio family, yes. Thank you so much for all the support once again. And of course, if you want to submit another video to Let's Watch, head over to alexandrecom forward slash Submit. Finally, of course, I have to give the old festival a plug once again. It is at marimbafest.com. If you're interested in joining a marimba festival experience here in my hometown in Perth, Western Australia, you can check it out down in the description below. But yes, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really like making these videos. They're so much fun. And I'll see you guys next week for another episode of The Studio. Good night. I finally stopped running now With you I found my peace somehow Let go of every thought that was holding me back yeah. I'm in love with you in every way That joy you give me every day